is unstable. Good morning, Chansey Cardinals, teachers and staff. It's May 15th through May 19th. We didn't do announcements last week, so this is some old stuff with some new stuff. We're back. All right, boys and girls, here is our weekly weather prediction. So Monday, looks like there could be some rain, um, 72 degrees. Tuesday is actually election day, so we won't have school. And we'll talk about that again, but 70 degrees on Tuesday for election day. Uh, Wednesday, 75 degrees. Thursday, 75 degrees. So looking strong midweek. And then Friday, warming up, 79 degrees. That's going to feel really hot. Um, so dress appropriately, boys and girls. Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Burton here. Remember, every day you should be coming to school being respectful, responsible, and safe. But I want you to focus for the next 11 days. I want you to focus on showing up every day and giving your best effort. I know it's hard when you get to the end, that home stretch. It's like, oh, I don't think I can make it. And that's for the adults too, but we can make it. We've done this year after year after year. And so we're almost there. Let's finish um, on a good note. Show up every day. Give your best effort. Be kind to each other. Keep your hands and your feet to yourself. And let's just end this school year on a positive note. <clears throat> That's your reminder for the week. All righty. And the, la the, <laughs> the last time we did announcements, we had just come back from, I think, Derby Week. And it yep. was Teacher Appreciation Week. And so mm -hmm. we would just, as a wrap up to that, teachers, we appreciate you so much. And then, boys and girls, nice job for helping with helping celebrate our teachers. You did a great mm -hmm. job with where, whether you were the colors or your family members got like a gift card or something. You all help show the most important people in this building some appreciation. So nice job. Nice job. All right, boys and girls, and we are still in um, KSA testing. We've wrapped up third grade last week and some of the testing for fourth and fifth, but we still have fourth and fifth testing Monday with science and social studies. And then fifth grade continues on Wednesday when we get back from a special area. Thanks, Ms. Burden, for doing the slides. Not special area, but election day. They'll finish off Wednesday with editing and mechanics, and then they do an on-demand writing test. So two tests for fifth Wednesday, uh, social studies and science Monday. Uh, just keep remembering to show up with a good night's sleep. Eat something so that you're ready to do some work in the morning. Have a positive attitude. Boys and girls, testing does not have to be um, – such a bad thing it's really a good thing you've worked very hard all year now it's just your time to put that work to use so just work hard don't think of it as a you know a really bad thing that's happening to you it's not it's actually kind of neat to see what you know and what you can do um, so have a positive attitude about it come to school on time as best as you can and really do your best this is a chance to do your best never miss an opportunity to do your best and Mr. K. Hilmas, I can I jump in real quick? I am so impressed with what I've seen. I've seen so many students, or I saw so many students last week coming in with such a positive attitude, ready to, to take this test. Um, they were excited to show what they know. And then I also want to give a shout out to our K through two classes, our um, kindergarten, first grade, second grade classes, because they did an amazing job in the hallways, staying quiet, um, cheering for those third, fourth, and fifth graders, or just giving them like a positive encouragement as they would head to class. So shout out to the entire school. Everyone has done a really good job of supporting one another um, and just showing up as a school family so that our third through fifth graders can rock out the test. So yeah, I did notice that. I was just going to quickly say when I popped in though, to say some encouraging words to the third, fourth and fifth graders, I was, it was interesting that some of them were very nervous, especially about mm -hmm. science and social studies. I think reading and math, we focused a lot on, they just naturally felt like, yeah, this will be not necessarily a piece of cake, but it's something we can certainly get through. But science and social studies kind of, kind of made them nervous, but boys and girls, that's today. And don't worry about it. It will all, there will be so many life challenges or things that just make you nervous, but you all have, will continue to persevere or get through it and maintain that positive attitude and just take a deep breath. I was reading something this week, and if you take a deep breath, it recenters you and allows you to really focus. So do that. Sometimes you might need 
two, three, or four deep breaths, right? Ms. And Simon? that's okay. Take all I the breaths. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Our April Super Cardinal celebration is this Friday, and we're kind of doing some back to back. So this Friday, we will celebrate our students who earned Super Cardinal um, or who earned the Super Cardinal recognition in April. And then next week, we will celebrate those who earned it in May. So lots of celebrations for our kiddos. All righty. Um, there's no, is it your turn? Sorry. I was just going to jump in, but yeah, you go for it. Okay. Okay, no school tomorrow for election day. So boys and girls, we'll send out a reminder to your family members, but just so you know that you get a day off because we are voting. Okay, Hill, what, vote, what election is this? The primaries? Yeah, so it's primary elections where you kind of pick who you will vote for to take the office, right? Lots of people want the job or the chance to get the job. So tomorrow is the chance to choose who we want to vote for in the general election. Mm. And what job is this? Is this the governor's race? I mean, um, so yeah, the governor's governor is coming yeah, up for up. who's going to run for governor and then some other offices as well. That's mm -hmm. what I thought. All righty. Get out of rock vote. Vote, vote, vote. There you go. Go ahead, Ms. Ivory, take us home. Okay. Boys and girls, teachers and staff, there are only 11 days left for the school year. And I know it's been one of the hardest, longest, most amazing years we've been through. Um, but guess what? You've done such a great job. 11 days. We're going to continue to do well, finish strong, and just kind of rock it into summer. You are important. You are unique. Be the best that you can be. Work hard and be kind. Be kind, please. You will change the world. Have a great week. Bye, Cardinals. Have a great week, everybody.